Hey guys, this is Kyle with Renew Biomedical. Today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration on how to perform a PM on a LifePak 20 defibrillator. First thing you need to do is verify the unit is unplugged. You want to test the all settings on battery mode only. Once that's done, you power the unit on. To go into service mode, you hold down event and options at the same time and power the unit on. I've set all passwords to zero for today's demonstration, but your facility may have a different password. This takes you into your uh, first service mode. First thing I recommend is go down to your clock. Verify that your time and date are correct in case any issues come up in the future. And it gives you an accurate demonstration of when your last PM was completed. Once that's done, if you had to change your time and date, please power cycle your unit and turn it back on in service mode to complete the save. Once you're back in, scroll down to service. Again, I set all passwords to zero, but your facility may have different passwords. Here you'll find your defib test. This will calibrate defib at 10 and 360 to verify it's working uh, operationally. There you scroll down to test. Under this, uh, this screen is where you can test all your buttons, your printer, your speaker, and verify that your LCD screen is pro uh, functioning properly. Under this mode is where you can also go to maintenance prompt. Under maintenance prompt, you can tell your machine when to alert the user that is due for your next calibration and PM. Once that's completed, you can actually power cycle your unit, turn it off, back on into normal operation mode. And once you're in this mode, you can go through and test all uh, your functions such as defib, pacer, and SPO2 if your unit has it. Uh, once you do your electrical safety test, your PM is complete. If you ever have any questions, feel free to go to our website where you can find our email address and phone number. Get in contact with us and we'll help you any way we can. Hope you have a good day. Thanks.